What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to show you guys how to make your dark mode even darker than normal. Now I did discover this uh, from iDevice help, so big shout out to him. I think this is an awesome trick. I can't believe I didn't know about it. I think it's super cool and I wanted to share it with you guys so you guys can see how it works. It is pretty damn sweet. Now if we go into settings here, uh, as you can see my settings looks much darker than normal. You can't really see the gray table cells that are normally in there which kind of break up settings. It almost looks completely dark. And what's interesting is my brightness is actually turned all the way up. So this is full on brightness. And uh, it does do this system wide. So basically if the application comes with a dark mode option, it will make that dark mode look even darker than normal. As you can see, this is what Discord looks like with the darker mode enabled. So it's really quite cool. And there's some function around this as well that I'll explain in a second. But to enable it, you just go into settings, you go to accessibility, you go to display and text size, and then you can see there is the reduce white point option at the bottom. So if I turn this off, as you can see, it's much brighter you can definitely see the gray table cells in the background, which makes settings look a lot different. Of course, my brightness is churned way up, so I could turn that down, but you can still see the table cells even when the brightness is at the same level because it just uh, pops more and it, the reduced white point makes it more invisible, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's very interesting how this setting works, but some functionality about this, I thought that this was really interesting. So I'm the type to be on my phone before falling asleep and sometimes I'm awake longer than my girlfriend and the screen brightness can sometimes bother her even when I have it turned way down if I'm watching a video or something and there's flashing and stuff like that uh, even at the lowest brightness possible it can still be kind of you know an annoyance for my girlfriend she can still see it you know it's hard to tell right now because we're lit up and everything but here is you know like brightness turned all the way down without reduce motion. If I turn reduce white motion on, as you can see, it allows you to get even darker and it's almost completely invisible. I'm honestly kind of afraid to take my finger off of that because I might not be able to find it. Um, but it allows you to make your iPhone even darker than normal. So as you can see, you guys can probably just barely see it. Uh, so this is very functional for in the middle of the night too. If you need to make your iPhone darker or more dim, you can totally do that with redu reduce white point. And of course I can make it even darker than I did by turning that all the way up and then going in here and turning the brightness down. And I'm pretty sure you can get it to the point where it's just about a black screen and there's nothing there. So you can really adjust the brightness of your iPhone by using this setting. But I find that having it, you know, right around like 80% or so looks the best if you guys just want an overall darker dark mode. I think 80 to 90% is pretty good. And like I said, this is system wide. So each application that it has dark mode enabled is going to look darker, but a uh, very cool trick I wanted to share with you guys. I thought it was awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did definitely throw me a thumbs up that helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one later.